to the maverick podcast ug uh this is one of our maverick conversations i'm here with my man troy of uh, denim cartel troy what's good everything chris everything nice and uh thanks for having me on your podcast it's been a long time coming we've talked about this but yeah welcome to denim cartel this is our headquarters and my name is troy limu the founder and the creative at denim cartel yeah so take me through um just briefly take me through your journey. How did Denim Cartel come to life? Um, what's the purpose behind Denim Cartel? And um, I've been seeing you doing a lot of creative things with, uh, with Kente. Take us through a bit of that. Uh, so Denim Cartel is a denim brand that was founded uh, four years ago. Uh, it focuses on uh, refurbishing and uh, creating pieces out of denim. But it's also a collaborative brand that uh, works with different creatives you try and shine a light on uh, different fashion designers, uh, different uh, fabricators and different artists because it's, uh, it's a brand that is trying to put art and denim together. And uh, I believe Uganda has uh, amazing creatives, amazing artists. I've worked with a couple of them. I've worked with the uh, likes of Amala Cheyune, uh, So Simple, Shamtaira, Mavo Kampala. Name them, name them. And the, the dream is to work with as many creatives as possible. So uh, yeah, we're looking at um, getting the the brand on global, 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 global networks and global uh, reaches. Yeah, because um, I believe uh, four years is a long time coming, but it's also a short time because uh, people will take decades to build a brand. Get what I mean? So the goal is basically to shine a light on creatives and see how far we can go with uh, our creations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take us through a bit of uh, Kente, the, cre yeah. the, other, the other creative side, because yeah. I see you're building uh, unique spaces. I see you also doing some constructive work here and there. Take us through that as well. Yeah, so, uh, first of all, Kente Creation is the one that uh, we curated and set up our space. So uh, if you get time and uh, check out uh, Denim Cartel at Motive, you'll see that our space is something that gives you an industrial feel, a rustic feel, and uh, that's what Kente Creation stands for. It's uh, a design hub uh, that does not only curate spaces, but we go as far as uh, designing events, curating stages. Uh, we are the minds behind the 2019 uh, Enchanted Forest, Nyege Nyege, five stages in five days, uh, mud thing, and uh, yeah, all the uh, blankets, blankets and wine editions, uh, and a couple of sets, I can't mention them, but also like my big major stages that I've designed in Uganda. Uh, Kente Creations is also that brand that I, I think like working together with different creatives also gives me a upper hand because I get to tap into different creative juices, different creative minds. So Kente Creations is also that brand that still collaborates. You'll find me working with the likes of Silk Events, you'll find me working with the likes of Fernon, uh, ATS. And then to mention but a few, but yeah, we just try and uh, put one and two together to create uh, amazing events and amazing uh, photo areas and also experientials, yeah. So because when someone is going out to an event, they expect to have a, a vibe, an experience, a photo moment. So that's where we, we, we come in and yeah, we give you that. Yeah. Appreciate that, my man. And on that note, anybody that's uh, liking, subscribing, I'm going to drop a few goodies from... Uh, for my man here, Troy, give him your proposals. The Maverick UG will get you 5% off. I yeah, can guarantee yeah. that. Yeah. Let's give this man some good business right here. So uh, I also noticed as well, you have something big going with uh, Johnny Walker and in, and in likes uh, Johnny Walker Red Label. How did you come to, you know, to forge such a partner? Because I believe in, in, um, in, in this business, 
um, if you're able to speak to brands and you're able to bring a unique value propositions to yeah. certain brands, they're able to bring that value back to you. Take us through that partnership with, uh, with Johnny Walker yeah. and how's that been going for you um, over the past few months? Yeah. Uh, so, um, it's not only Johnny Walker, yeah? Uh, I work with a lot of brands and associate myself with uh, different brands. And it also depends on how I actually would urge any business owners, any creatives out there, that if you are building and creating a brand, try and uh, brand yourself to a point that you can associate yourself with any kind of partner, corporate world, middle class. You get what I mean? So it's, 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 it's how I have presented my brands out there that you'll see the likes of Jameson, you'll see the likes of Bumbu, you see the likes of Johnny Walker, that is my current partner. And it's not even long-term partnerships, but if, if, if possible, they could be, yeah? But then uh, I'm that kind of brand that doesn't want to be uh, fixed. Like, you get what I, like, I don't sign contracts that prohibit me from partnering with other brands. So it's always uh, associations and... Uh, and uh, partnerships that are, that are curated, you get. Like uh, Johnny Walker jumped on for my opening, and that was it. And we still plan on having experiential that are different uh, Johnny Walker town uh, setups. Yeah, yeah. But those are like partnerships that do not prohibit me to work with other brands. MTN can come on board, Stand B can come on board. So it's just about how I brand myself and how, how the brand fuses with other brands. Johnny Walker is a bold brand it's a bold whiskey yeah and uh one of the things and uh we attribute as denim cartel is confidence is boldness when you're rocking that denim how do you feel that's why we say it's jeans with your dna I, w I, I don't think anybody would want to rock their dna or have a child who does not represent their their the higher beings their highness their king queen kingships and queen they're like the high the royal highness when you when you're rocking a denim you need to feel the type of way so yeah, I think that's why Johnny Walker got on board and it's, it's been a, a privilege to me and a humbling uh, experience as well. So it's, uh, it's something I look forward to happening more often. You'll definitely see other brands getting on board because uh, I'm definitely sending out proposals. I'm definitely coming out with lookbooks for s uh, corporate uh, world designs. Uh, you'll, you, you'll see the normal guy wearing a polo t-shirt, a polo shirt at office. But then that's where we're trying to come in. You can get a, a nice denim jacket for the weekend for all your office, office members. Imagine Stan Beek and Denim Cattell having a partnership. So it's, 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 a big, it's a big vision, a working process. By the end of the day, it's how you brand yourself. And uh, also look at your network. We, 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 we have a network that is so broad. Uh, but it also ha depends on how you you pitch in your brand to those networks. Because oh, you can have uh, Maverick here, Kim, and you don't know what Kim does, but you guys hang out all the time. So sometimes it, it needs to be more than just hanging out. It needs to be more than catching up. Mm -hmm. Like, go deeper. What do you do? How can we work together? Look at such things. So, yeah, when we're out here, Kampala is a, is a small city. So when you're out there, try and uh, social network, like talk to people. Uh, move with business cards, build your portfolio, build your social media networks, and that's how you get to work with such brands. Yeah. Let me take a pause for a minute. Eh? Yeah, man. Okay, uh, we're back again. Um, uh, so just quickly, I wanted to understand yeah. what some of the biggest challenges you've had with, you know, coming up with Denim Cartel. Yeah. yeah? Um, I think as a as a, a businessman and an entrepreneur. You're bound to have uh, different challenges. Uh, you're bound to have uh, financial challenges, uh, conceptualization challenges, and also just uh, trying to find what you can do best. You get so uh, I I wouldn't say Uganda is way 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 back yeah. when it comes to resources, but sometimes you have to use or live under your means. You get what I mean? Like work with what you have. So. Uh, yeah, there are those challenges that hit me, but again, I use them as lessons and again, yeah. as blessings. There are blessings in these yeah. guys. You get what I mean? Like, I don't use it as a, just hit me, there's no way I'm going. Or it just hit me, 
I can't do nothing about it. I I always find a way to maneuver and use those challenges to my best or strengthen me or find a way of uh breaking through. You get what I mean? Sure. Yeah, so um use the challenges to your best. That's what I can say. Like build build on those challenges. Let them be experiences that uh give you lessons but also help you uh make your craft better. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like if you see uh some some hiccups when maybe you're creating pieces it's not it's not hard to go on google and and get some knowledge of google you get what i mean oh it's not so hard to ask for for advice be like yo man brands you've been down this business for a long time what do you think i should do to 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 make my brand get there you get like ask ask from the ask from the legends ask from the people who have done it for a long time we can you can learn a lot from them but also uh it helps you uh, know what you really want to do and also avoid certain, certain challenges. Because certain challenges, we, we hit them because we, we don't know about them. But imagine you know a tax challenge. Yeah. That, that with time, my business has to m- make returns and pay tax. Ask around your lawyer friends, how do I go about working around the tax thing in Uganda. Mm. Um, production costs. Mm. How do I try and uh, minimize my production costs uh, to make sure that the brand is still affordable to clients? Ask, and you shall, you shall be told what, what to do. So, I, uh, yeah, those challenges are there. Nobody should tell you that there are no challenges in business. Entrepreneurs have big challenges. And it's a war. It's a war. At the end of the day, we have to win. We have no choice. Uh, man, I, I definitely appreciate these 20 minutes uh, oh, with, with the denim cartel. Hopefully, you will be doing me a Maverick jacket very no, soon. Hashtag, That's dope. Hashtag Maverick for your promo code. When you come with the hashtag Maverick, it's uh, the boss man say 10%. <laughs> yeah. I definitely give you a 10% off. I'll give it to my first five subscribers that come yeah. to the denim cartel. Shout out at Maverick UG. Uh, we got you going. Um... One more thing, just off the off the books, off the record. Uh, what are you listening to right now? Oh, oh, oh! I've been listening to. Uh, I actually, you'd be shocked. Yeah, the cartel. Gustav turned off the power. Kill all his family. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that part in. Kill all of them. I'll definitely keep that part in. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like he did us a bit of a daddy. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> uh, we were all right. We were. I was having a chat with you. What are you listening to? Um, and what's caught your eye also in the sports section? I'm sure you're a bit of a sporty. It's a good market that you can tap into, definitely. So, take us through. Take us through, my guy. Uh, so uh, you'll be shocked. I'm listening to some dope Ugandan. Uh, he's called Agaba Banjo. If you've heard Confessions, if you've heard uh, Penina, uh, yeah, some some guy from from Barara, and I'm sure he's gonna be hitting the limelight. Uh, been listening to Sound Like BB, Sound Like BB, from, Sound like BB. BB from Ebbs, Mandem from Ebbs. Yeah, I've been listening to Banner Boy, Black Hole. I listen to a variety of music, man. I'm like. Uh, a music air, so I listen to a lot. You get me listening to classics like Eta James, so it's dope stuff. And uh, sports, yo, I think Saudi Arabia is not joking, man. <laughs> Saudi Arabia, those yeah, shakes, in, eh? those shakes are cashing in. I think they yeah. should, they should just give me a branch in 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 Saudi Arabia, Denim Cattel branch, because Neymar is getting that bag for just talking. Everybody says kaching, everybody says kaching. And then Messi has turned the Farmers League to some shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's what they that's what man. they called it. I am Farmers League, like for God's sake, England's Farmers League, like that disrespect. But that's that's Messi for you. He's a goat. He's a goat. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has actually sold a lot of tickets for for that league, for the English uh, league, and I feel like uh, it shows you how much value you you have when you become uh, a certain brand. You get what I mean? Like, it's only one man who's doing that. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Like, a, a team a team composes of how many players, but 
Messi stepping on that on that football pitch sells them more tickets. You get what I mean? So yeah, about sports, I'm just trying to see where the money is. Yeah, yeah. and the goats are the goats. I think I do believe I do yeah. believe we, we can we can figure out a way to leverage. I have some yeah. good contacts, yeah. especially in basketball, rugby. Yeah. I think there's always good opportunity for you to. Are you to a really, guy? Yeah, I'm a Pirates fan. Ah. Yeah, Pirates fan. So there's always yeah. opportunity for you to come on board. Yeah. See how you can bring value to these guys. Um, definitely dope. Ah uh, man, Troy, yeah, man. appreciate the time. Thanks for the conversation. Like Twenty minutes man. with Troy. Denim like cartel. My socials are Troy Limu at uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at uh, Denim Cartel at Kent Creations, and make sure you pass by Motive Old Port Bell Road. Yeah, we're here to uh, elevate and also empower. And also give you self confidence. It's jeans with your DNA. Yeah. And we are the Maverick UG. Bless, bless.